get out of your car. How many of you lock your doors when you get in your car? I do. I do. Yeah. Transitional space, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. How many of you can get out of your car without getting tangled up in the seatbelt? Okay. I have a very different. I reach my hand this way and unlock the seatbelt mm -hmm. so that it falls off my shoulder. That's a gun mm -hmm. thing. Because if you come out of the car, the safety belt's right here. Exactly you're right, right. <laughs> and you're right with you. You're trying to drag the truck with you. It's a big deal. You need to know. If you're in a car, should you pull a gun or should you drive? drive. You should drive. That's the biggest bullet in the world. Drive. All right. My truck weighs over 8,000 pounds. All right. And my bullet weighs 115 grains of sand. <laughs> it's a big difference. I drive. I keep moving. I keep moving. And you're going to hear this over and over. Don't sit still. So if you're in a car and somebody attacks you, drive. Don't worry about fighting it. Drive. If they get in the car with you, get out of the car. All right? If they try to make you go somewhere in the car, fight for your life. Because these are lines of declaration. There's two things you should never do. Go to another scene with somebody else. Don't let them transport you. Get on your knees or get on your belly. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's execution time. You're gonna die. I only tell somebody to get on their knees if I'm going to do something horrible or get on their belly and do something horrible. It's a controlling position. And your options are now done what? Same thing, get in the car, go with me. I'll talk them out of it. Where are you going? Right to the scene of the crime. The next crime scene is awaiting.